Good evening, traders from around the world. What's going on? I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing this evening. Great Thursday today. Not a lot happened in the markets. Have a look at the SPY. We did get a small gap up, but as you can see, we really did just, we created a brand new all-time high and we really did just fade off this previous high. Uh, if you take a look at the E-minis, not a whole lot happening on the E-minis. Fairly, fairly sideways after the news that, that the Fed was dropping the interest rates, um, but not a whole lot happening there. Let's take a look at Microsoft creating a brand new all-time high, largest company in the world. And yeah, so this is a lot of people getting very trapped right here. As you can see, take a look at the five minute. Everyone jumping on bullish and pretty much just fading straight away. A whole bunch of people starting to take their profits. So a lot of people getting trapped here. And uh, Microsoft, obviously, if you are looking to get in, just look to buy the dip. This was a fake out, guys, and we did get a green candle gapping up. I hope you guys did notice I did change my charts from white to black to the dark feature on trading view if you don't like it and you want me to go back to the old settings with the white fairly plain white and black let me know in the comment section below but i just wanted some little fresh new look so i went with the green and the red anyway so green candle gapping up to a new all-time high and obviously just faded off throughout the day Let's take a look at Planet Fitness, ticket symbol PLNT. And what's interesting about Planet Fitness is we did not uh, we did not bounce off the 200 simple moving average. Um, and on the weekly chart, we are slowly, 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 but surely grinding down. If you are looking for a long play on this, I would be looking to take this off this particular candle right here based off this volume that we've got here. So if you are looking for a long play, uh, $56 does look very nice. And this will obviously coincide with the 100 simple moving average and most likely will create some sort of nice little double bottom and hopefully grind higher. Let's take a look at trade death, ticket symbol TTD on the daily chart. Not a whole lot happening. However, we are at the 200 simple moving average and we have bounced off here before so i mean trade desk very very good company to go long um if you are looking at buying i think you're going to have a fairly decent amount of time to buy uh since this was a fairly quick pullback uh we did pull back about 25 to 30 percent here and uh we most likely will get a little bit more of a consolidation. So if you are looking to get in, we do have earnings coming up in November. And I think after earnings, you'll get a very nice dip buying opportunity as we kind of chop around here on trade desk. So look for a nice plan. You trade ahead, look for a nice uh, long-term trade on TTD in the future. Um, but I don't think this will just V bottom out of here and then, you know, leave you leave you behind. So trade desk looks very good. Keep it on your watch list, guys, for a future play. Let's take a look at Roku, the rocket, which is running out of rocket fuel. Um, pretty much just falling falling down from space and uh, coming back to coming back back to Earth where it should be. You know, probably down at one ten. I would expect it to continue lower. Um, we did get bullish. A bullish candle yesterday uh, but this is just going to be an ABC correction I think we are not done here guys we did get a green candle gapping up which is a retest gap and we have not filled that gap yet so I do expect us probably to come down maybe create some lower lows get a few people trapped and then maybe bounce off the 200 again like we did back here so keep your eyes peeled on Roku guys probably gonna continue lower uh, long term, but then obviously look to buy the dip probably closer to the end of the year. Let's take a look at X US Steel. Now, US Steel did get downgraded by Macquarie yesterday, 
uh, or sorry, they got, yeah, got downgraded yesterday and we did get some humongous volume coming in here. Um, if you take a look at their short float, short float was actually at 25%. So um, I think there's 141 million shares. So this is about 40 million shares are, were in short um, and there is quite a lot of volume coming in here. A lot of people thinking this is a time to buy. Uh, personally, take a look at the weekly chart. Uh, oops, sorry. Take a look at the weekly chart. Uh, as you can see, we still have a little while to go. I have been saying for a while this will go down to $8 and I still believe that will happen. Maybe even six, who knows. Um, but keep your eyes on US Steel, most likely will go lower, especially on the news. A lot of big banks, JP Morgan, Merrill Lynch, obviously, obviously very bearish on this company. And they're going to get hit with the trade war as well. So guys, if you're in X, make sure you've got put options long term. I have been saying this for a while. Let's take a look at the all odds. And we did bang our head against the previous all time high uh, today, which was very, very nice. Finishing the week fairly, fairly strong. Um, as you can see here, beautiful bullish green candle. And we probably could do with a could be due with a small pullback. However, if we continue higher, it will just be a very slow and steady grind. If we do get a nice pullback, guys, take a look at the move, the short-term moving averages and just look to buy the dip, probably off the 10, maybe even the 20, and uh, it will most likely continue to grind higher. Nothing too super scary in the market saying that we should go bearish and just run for the hills just yet. Let's take a look at CCL, Coca-Cola Limited in Australia, and... What's interesting about this one is we are back at these highs right here. Okay, back at these highs. Now, if you take a look at the monthly chart, you can see that we have a very, very, very nice upper wick here. Right here, very nice upper wick. And we are getting some selling pressure in here, guys. Obviously, Coca-Cola, very bullish, love the drink. and um, you know, pretty much you'll see the, you'll see Coca-Cola everywhere at least 10 times a day um, on average. But most likely this will slowly, if we do get a short-term dip, this will be a nice little dip buying opportunity. So keep an eye on a short-term dip buying opportunity to take Coca-Cola along as this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, consolidation, you know, consolidation phase that we have been in for the last couple of years. So we will slowly break out of here, guys. Um, but obviously, very, very boring long-term stock. Uh, but yeah, Coca-Cola looking to slowly break out. Got a request to take a look at Westpac Banking. And we go to the daily. Now, we have come a fair way the last month. We've come up like 10%. So if you are looking to, if you are looking to go long here, um, just due to this particular candle right here, right there, that big red selling candle, as you can see, heavy volume. And if you just take a look at the hourly chart, you can see there was a lot of volume coming in this day right here. Um, so I do expect us probably to trade a little bit lower. If we can stay above the 50 day moving average, uh, the 50 EMA on the hourly chart, I would expect us probably to grind up higher a little bit. However, what I do expect is probably something like this. Okay, I do expect us probably to come down to the 50 and then make a little break below and then obviously just look to play the retest, you know, entry, stop up here and then take your, take your targets down there. So if we, if we do get something like this, um, I'll actually draw this for you. Yeah, if we do get something like this, uh, like that, obviously this is where you would look to get in short after the break. Uh, sorry, after the retest has happened, we've come up. Just look for a retest, and then you can obviously short the highs and then take uh, take your profits down here if it comes down here. But then obviously you will be flipping the switch there and looking to go long. So if you are in looking to go long on W. B, C, Westpac, uh, a nice dip buying opportunity would be, you know, the 20 or the 50 on the daily. 
just wait for a little pullback, guys. This is a nice little double top uh, happening right now. Let's take a look at SAR. And this is has been a very beautiful trend. And we did come back down to the 200 on the daily chart. Um, we have bounced off here, you know, a few times before. And I do expect us probably to bounce again. However, I just think that we will have a little bit more time, spend a little bit more time down here as we we haven't really consolidated here. It's been very, very choppy. As you can see, it's been quite choppy. So I do expect us probably to chop around here for a little while and then slowly grind higher. So if you are looking to buy long term, um, obviously this is a very nice buying location. Take a look at the weekly chart, still fairly uh, pretty far away from the uh, 100 simple moving average, which is totally fine on the weekly. Um, but if I just have a draw my quick fibs here, you can see we have come down to the 618 level. Okay, we have come down to the 618 level, um, but most likely we, we most likely we will we will get something uh, like this happening. Um, actually, what is interesting about SAR, if you take a look at the previous pullbacks that we have had on SAR, so for example, we had a very nice, you know, 98 to 100 percent move, right, and then just just after that we did have a nice little 25 percent pullback. Right, same as back here. Uh, sorry, I'll just move this back here. Same as back here, we had a nice little 25% move after a glorious little, you know, glorious little 70% move. So, right now, this last wave that we have had, okay, we did come up 80%. So, the fact that we are pulling back right now from the highs about, you know, 30% makes a hell of a lot of sense. Um, I just expect there to be a nice double bottom coming in. So keep your eyes peeled. This is a very, very nice one white soldier, or I could call it a green soldier. So little one green soldier here on the weekly chart. Uh, if you don't know what that is, um, check out the education at reallifetrading.com and you'll learn all about that pattern. Um, but very, very nice bullish pattern. However, most likely just look to uh look look for a nice little double bottom here let's take a look at iel ID, idp education and this is a very 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 nice pullback i have been waiting for this for some time now pretty much since back here after we gapped up this was a gap and go um now what is interesting about this is we are currently oops we are currently at the 618, oh sorry, we're not, at, we're at the 50, sorry, the 50% retracement, but I do expect us to come back down to the 618. We tried to gap up today and pretty much just faded straight away. So I do expect us probably to trade a little bit lower, which also coincides with this gap that we had back here in February. So if we do pull back, come down to 618 at 1280. That would be a very nice dip buying opportunity. If we do, obviously if it does come down here, look for a very nice consolidation, look for volume and a nice little bullish pattern. Um, if, Cause if we do keep going and close this gap, uh, we could come down a little bit lower, maybe even back down to $11. So looks really good guys. Keep your eyes peeled on a nice dip buying opportunity on IEL. Let's take a look at PLS. Pilbara Minerals. Now, I have been speaking about this for quite some time now. Take a look at the weekly chart. Now, I have I mentioned back here that we did have to bounce and most likely it would end up, if it didn't bounce here, we would most likely go back down to 35 cents. We're at 34 and a half cents right now as we speak, which actually coincides with the uh, 100 simple moving average on a monthly chart. And guys, look at this absolutely glorious high wave candle that is forming on the monthly chart. Um, this is a very beautiful candle. Um, I would be looking for a break above here with a stop down here um, to take long. Um, but obviously this is a long-term trade being a monthly chart. Um, so you could 
leverage up a little bit more on this position. Um, obviously, mitigating a risk, only lose what you can afford to lose. Um, however, PLS, very beautiful candle, great pullback. We have pulled back from the highs, you know, 70%. And yeah, very, very good pullback. So we're here again, guys, 100, 100. Well, actually, we're here for the first time, 100 on the monthly chart. Looks good to go long. Let's take a look at some commodities. Let's take a look at crude oil. So crude oil um, slowly coming down after the news that happened over the weekend. And I do expect this probably to end up going lower. Uh, yeah, definitely most likely will go lower. We are getting some selling, some nice little selling candles right here. So I'm probably most likely going to expect a little bit of a push and then a little drop down again. Um, we are at the 100 and the 200. We are also creating some nice higher lows. Um, so this, if we do get a drop down to about $56, that will be a nice dip buying opportunity. Uh, so keep your eyes on crude. Here's gold and gold is just in this beautiful little, uh, beautiful little wedge here. I'll just zoom into the one hourly chart here because this is realistically how you'd be playing it. Um, in this sideways action, guys, you're just going to be playing this, this beautiful channel here. I'll just take this off here. Um, so you have got a very, very nice channel here. Just looking to buy low, sell high. So buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high. Um, very, very beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful trend. We are staying within this uh, little descending wedge here. Uh, which could potentially, which to me is most likely going to break down. I do expect us to go back down to the 618 on the daily. Uh, sorry, on the Fibonacci, I'll just show you that here, which is down at 1461. Uh, makes a lot of sense to come back down here, but this, guys, will be a very nice dip buying opportunity long term. Um, if we do crush any lower than 1461, just get excited because the 100 is coming in, guys, and we will be buying. Um, okay, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Oops, just get rid of this. Take a look at the Aussie dollar. And I did get out of my short for half an hour. Half an hour return, which is not too bad. Um, just take a look at the hourly chart here. We are getting a very, very nice double bottom pattern happening right now. And just based off this previous move here that we have had, this is right at the 50% retracement level. So if we do bounce here, guys, makes a lot of a sense. Makes a lot of sense. Um, however, if if I am looking for a short, I'd just want to obviously take this up as high as I can. Probably up to about 68.30 would be very very nice, which is the 100 on the hourly. All right, guys, that's it for me. Hope you had a very very profitable week um hope you have a great weekend and let me know what you think about me using this dark feature on on trading view if you want me to go back to the plain white charts um totally fine totally can do that um anyway new look new feels see how it goes i'll be back next week leave the comments in the leave sorry leave your comment uh leave a comment in the section below if you want me to review any tickers for you next week. I'm out of here, guys. And remember, love, laugh, live life and trade it. I'll see you soon. Bye.